All right. Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in? Have you had enough candy? It's important. Welcome to Secrets of Energy Hypnosis. My name is David Snyder. Um, and today we're going to take a little journey together. We're going to begin to explore the synthesis of what a lot of us in our profession, in our community, openly embrace, but often have trouble integrating. Uh, a little bit about myself real quick, because it's all about me. Um, I've been doing hypnosis since about the age of 15, doing energetics almost as long. Uh, I have an eighth degree black belt in an art called Rukyu Kempo, which is an art that specifically deals with manipulating and managing the acupuncture points and meridians of the human body. In other words, I'm trained to do things energetically to a body that doesn't want me to. Okay. I'm also a licensed acupuncturist in the state of California. I run a clinic in Solana Beach where my specialty is treating physiological illness that has as its roots repressed emotion. Okay. Which is pretty much everything, yeah. I, as, as a licensed acupuncturist, I spend $100,000 to learn all kinds of cool things about the body that I never use. Why? Because I can treat most everything faster, easier, and permanently using the technologies I'm gonna share with you today, okay? Now that being said, I don't get the usual clients. I work almost exclusively off, uh, up until recently anyway, uh, almost exclusively off medical referral. The people I get, are in chronic pain, they have terminal illness, they have uh, a lot of, I do a lot of trauma work as well. Um, but I get almost, I have 100% success rate with weight loss, but I get one a year. <laughs> so, you know, take that for what it's worth. I have never had, ironically, I have never had a, non, a smoking patient. But I do get lots of people who don't want to get fixed. Get that a lot, huh? How many people were in my, uh, my instant conversational hypnosis workshop last night? Or yesterday morning, rather, right? In that, um, in that workshop, I gave out a process that I almost never give out in a, in a public training. It's called the autonomizer formula. And it's basically designed to take anybody who doesn't want something and have them generate their own personal reason for wanting to do it and then making them fight to do it. So you literally get them resisting you in the direction of change, okay? And uh, I know a lot of the people in the room that day were actually you know, seeing clients and we're doing a lot of, not, of smoking patients and we all know what those kind of people are like, right? They're there for every reason other than their own, right? So uh, a little bit more about me. <laughs> uh, I've been running meetups and uh, practice groups in hypnosis and NLP pretty much since 2004 three or 2004, where I met this kid named Scott Salen and uh, this weird guy named Richard Clark. And then this guy, Richard Rumble, started showing up on the same day I held my first, uh, my first get together with the Los Angeles Sleepwalkers. And there was this, uh, this evil cabal was launched, known as the Sleepwalkers. And uh, it's been very, it's a very, very interesting journey over the last 12 years, because what began 12 years ago in Los Angeles is now something that embraces all of you. And even though they're not here and they may never see this video, I just want everybody to give a huge, huge round of applause to Richard Clark and Scott Sandlin for achieving a hypnosis miracle. <laughs> they have truly, truly taken a vision and expanded it beyond what we even thought we could do back then. And, uh, and they deserve a tremendous amount of credit for it. That being said, let's jump into today's topic. Okay. The first thing we need to talk about is what the hell is energy? By the way, I thrive on dialogue. They've only given me an hour today, <laughs> which was a big mistake <laughs> because this is a huge topic. I am going to teach you one technique. I'm going to demonstrate it several times first, and then I'm going to teach you and let you practice it on each other. I will try to keep as much as the, as the explanations to a minimum at first, and I will tell you why. We, many of us operate under the belief that we have to fully understand all the in and outs of something before we can actually do it. The two minute technique I'm going to show you, 
I could spend two days unpacking all the things that are going on in that two minutes, linguistically, energetically, neurologically, and we would never get anything done. I would much rather you come out of here with a solid technique that you can pretty much throw at anything that walks into your office and nuke it within about seven minutes, if you're slow. And that being said, I'm still waiting for confirmation on this. I recently did a Skype session utilizing the technique that I'm about to teach you. And in the space of five minutes, you know, everybody here knows what a sud scale is, right? Okay. I had a, a gentleman who was uh, suffering from cancer. He had, it had pretty much spread to all kinds of weird places in his body, which is actually, we, we're starting to get more and more of that. And, People are amazed at what we're doing. But in a nutshell, basically, I had him rate the size on a scale of 0 to 10, how bad that pain was and where the tumor was. And he gave me an 8. And he, he actually had a, he, he was feeling the mass in his scapula. And I did this technique on him. And I said, well, how is, how is it now? He goes, 6. We did it again. And he's starting to get a weird look on his face. Four. And he's starting to get nervous. I had a feeling I knew why, but we did it one more time, dropped down to a two, and he's literally looking for the tumor in his scapula. Okay? And he, he got visibly agitated when we got to a two. So we left it there for now. All right? But I have done uh, this, this technique, if you target it right, can be, can be a tumor killer. I've seen it reverse 25 year long cases of constipation. I've seen it reverse herpes outbreaks, low back, any kind of pain, physical or emotional, short of, and, and as long as there's no recurring biomechanical issue, like if they're walking weird because they have an imbalance that agitates somewhere else. But even then, this stuff goes away, it doesn't come back, okay? So does anybody here have an ouchie? What do you got? Come on up. I uh, pulled, pulled my cat a little bit uh, the other day, and yesterday actually. Is it okay guy. to get rid of it? I'd love to get rid of Are it. you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? Not in the world. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to point to where you feel the pain. Cool. Now, here's what I want you to do. Close your inner eyes. Close your eyes. Look at it with your inner eyes. On a scale of zero to 10, rate the pain. First impression? About a four at this point. About a four. Now, as you look at that sensation with your inner eyes, I want you to notice there's a color connected to it. What's the color, first impression? The brown. Brown. Reach in, grab all that brown energy, take it out and hold it in your hands. Make sure you get it all, because sometimes that shit hides. Shit being a technical term. Right? <laughs> Make sure you get it all. There you go. Good. Is it all in your hands? All in your hands? Okay, did the color change or stay the same, first impression? Uh, kind of brown or red now. Excellent. Now, as you look at it, I want you to notice it's spinning in a certain direction. What direction is it spinning? Counterclockwise. Grab it with both of your hands. Physically grab it with both of your hands, reoriented in space so it's spinning the opposite of what it was. It's now the opposite of what it was. Double the spin. Double the amplitude. Double it again. Keep doubling it until it takes on a life of its own, until it's impossible for it to go back the way it was. When you know you've got it, slam it back into that spot. <laughs> Notice the change. Notice it's gone. Let the feelings come up, whatever they are. That's it. Sweet. Feels <laughs> <laughs> good, for the you know, this now, try, now try to bring it back. I don't really want to bring it back. I know, uh, but most of the time they I'm, can't. I'm walking easier now than I have all morning. And you know what's really funny about this? The reason I'm at this workshop is I saw you do this on YouTube, and my wife was having a knee problem, and I did this to her, and it worked the very first time. She loves me now. Thank you. You're very welcome. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on. What you got for me, sweetie? What's your name? Kate. 
Felicia. Felicia. Mm -hmm. is, is there something physically wrong with the tooth? Probably, yeah. Can't take care of it now. Okay, so you want to get rid of it for now? Yes. Okay. You will promise to get it looked at, though? Yes. It's okay to get rid of it, then? Okay. Okay. So point to where you feel the pain. Good. Now close your eyes. Look at it with your inner eyes. Scale of 0 to 10. Rate the feeling. 4. Take it out. Grab all that red. Notice there's a color associated with that, that energy. What's the color? Pink. Grab it all. Take it out. Make sure you get it all, because sometimes that shit hides. <laughs> Is it all in your hands? Mm-hmm. See? She's still digging it out. I told you. Now, as you look at that, did the color change or stay the same? It's yellow. Good. Notice it's moving in a certain direction. It's spinning in a certain direction. What direction? Clockwise. Physically grab it with your hands. Reorient it in space so it's the opposite of what it was. Now double the spin. Double the amplitude. Double it again. Keep doubling it over and over and over again until it takes on a life of its own. Until it's impossible for it to go back the way it was when you know you've got it. Slam it back into that spot. Notice the change. Notice it's gone. Okay. How are you feeling? It's better. Scale of zero to ten? <laughs> I feel like a one and a half. Okay. Close your eyes. I'll stop it too. Point to is it the color the same or the same or the different? It's the same. Reach in, grab the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Take it out, hold it in your hands. See, you didn't get it all last time. That's what happened. Yeah, know, right? Double the spin in the direction that makes it feel better. The Double the spin. Double it again. Get into it. Keep doubling it. Double it over and over and over again until it takes on a life of its own, until it's impossible to go back the way it was. And when you know you've got it, yeah. put it back in. Oh. Notice the change. Let the feelings come up, too. Because sometimes there's an emotional component that we try to repress. That's what keeps it locked in. Mm -hmm. Notice it's gone. Scale of zero to ten? Feels good. Give Thanks. a big round of applause. <laughs> Come on up. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Does this work on anxiety? Yes. Uh, what you got? Um, possibly a screwed up disc. A right? screwed up disc? Yeah. This is, again, where we come into that area. Just because we can fix something, should we, right? Is it okay for us to fix it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that we'll fix the physiological components. We might. Sometimes they go I've, right back. I've been working on it, and it's improved greatly. Oh, excellent. All right. So, I'd like to totally get rid of it. Cool. All right. So here's what I want you to do. Point to where you feel the pain. It, okay, you got it? Sure, yeah. Make sure. Now, by the way, um, just... For those of you who are trained in pain control, I'm doing something here that rapid, that instantly violates the first thing we're taught about pain control. You know what that is? Talk about huh. pain. I'm, I'm saying, where's the pain? Uh, yeah. There's a reason, and I'm gonna, I'll get into the reason why as we go through the mechanics of this. You found it? Yeah. Excellent. Now close your eyes, look at it with your inner eyes. As you look at the sensation, I want you to notice something. I want you to notice there's a color connected to that feeling. What's the color, first impression? Like a maroon. Excellent. I want you to reach in, grab all that maroon energy, take it out and hold it in your hands in front of you. Make sure you've got it all, because sometimes that shit hides. Now you may also notice, as you dig that out, that there's a, a reason that that feeling was there, and there's a feeling connected to that reason, and that might live in a different part of your body. And if that's true, we'll deal with that in a minute. But as you look at that energy in your hands, did the color change or stay the same? First impression. Yeah, it's like a... Purple brown. Excellent. Now, as you look at it, notice it's spinning in a certain direction. What direction is it spinning? This way. Excellent. I want you to grab it with both of your hands, physically grab it, and reorient it so it's now rotating and moving the opposite of what it was. Double the spin. Double the amplitude. Double the force. Double the magnitude. Keep doubling it until it takes on a life of its own, until it's impossible for it to go back the way it was. And when you know you've got it, slam it back into that spot. <sighs> Notice the change. Notice it's gone. Yeah, I don't feel it. <laughs> Big round of applause for the lady. Thank you. You want to learn this? Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> I guess they're just going to line up. Come on up. One more time. All right, what you got, sir? I have arthritis in my left hip. In your left hip? Yep. How long have you had that? Four years. Are you doing weird things that make it bad? 
Not anymore. <laughs> is it okay to get rid of it? Yes, it is. All right. So here's what I want you to point to where you feel the pain. Okay. Close your eyes. Now look at it with your inner eyes. On a scale of 0 to 10, rate the sensation. Right now, about a 3. About a 3. Excellent. As you look at that feeling, I want you to notice there's a color associated with it. What's the color, first impression? Kind of a puke green. Puke green. All right. Reach in with both of your hands and physically take all that puke green energy out. Hold it in your hands in front of you. Make sure you get it all, because sometimes it hides, especially for arthritis. Got it all? Yes. Okay, did the color change or stay the same? First impression. It's lighter green. Okay, excellent. Now, as you look at it, I want you to notice it's spinning in a certain direction. What direction is it spinning? Excellent. Physically grab it with both of your hands. Reorient it in time and space so that it's now moving the opposite of what it was. Double the spin. Double the amplitude. Double the force. Double the magnitude. Keep doubling it until it takes on a life of its own. When you know you've got it, slam it back into that spot. Notice the change. Notice it's gone. That's the look of a happy camper. How are you feeling? Great. Good job. Give me a round of applause. Thank you. So you guys are going to have to really extend your pre-talk to do an hour session. <laughs> now here's the cool part. We've been handling mostly physical things here. It works just as well for emotions. Okay. By the way, you may notice feelings come up. You may notice your body sweat a little bit. Yep. Let that happen. What happened? The body's recalibrating and rebooting itself. So there, sometimes they'll break out in a sweat. Sometimes you'll see releasing gestures like yawning. Uh, they might tear up. Uh, first time I did this on a guy with a tumor, um, I, I, I'll tell you the genesis of this technique. But I've only got an hour, so I have to you know, just force feed you. But if you guys want to know more and they can find a room for us, we'll, you know, we'll go deep dish on this. Uh, I also have uh, some sheets I was going to hand out. I do not have enough. So um, I, just see me after this session, and we'll work something out where we can, we can take this further. I'll take you as far as I can on the time I have. I'll show you where to go for more. First thing we need to understand is that no, none of our systems work alone. Okay? When we use language in our, in our hypnotic processes, we get a certain level of change to the degree that we get absorption and focus from our client. That's all trance really is, is just a state of absorption and focus in the process. So the first thing we need to do is we need to understand how to create neurological absorption. We need to maximize how much of the brain and nervous system we're using at any one time. I, I open this with, what is energy? Can anybody, you know, want to offer an idea about what is energy? Everything. Everything. That's a great, unpractical explanation. But it's true. It's true. I mean, I, you know, from a quantum physics level, it's, but let's think on a more, um, when, I, when I get in a room full of people who are energy workers, and I ask them, well, what is energy? And they're like, eh. <laughs> yes? Attention is energy. It is a form of energy, absolutely. Yes? Um, electrons. Electrons? Okay. Is it or Movement? It definitely moves, which is important, by the way. Um, How things are created and destroyed. I'm sorry? How things are created and destroyed. Okay. Here's how I would like you to start thinking about energy for now. It's like an audio cassette. It's a medium that carries information. Okay. When we talk about the auric field, for example, how many people here know what the aura is? Or when I say aura, have an idea. How many people here think of it, when they think of the aura, they think of this beautiful multicolored cloud of energy that floats around our body? Sometimes. I don't. And I'll tell you, what I, what I, and, I, and, I, and I, by the way, I'm a, I'm a certified pranic healer, pranic psychotherapist, licensed acupuncturist, Reiki master. I've been doing Reiki since the early 90s. I've been studying Kabbalah since the early 90s, okay, before Madonna started studying Kabbalah. So I'm very much a pre-Madonna. Right? Gotcha! 
Okay, I've, I've done Huna. Uh, I'm initiated into hermetic sciences, and a lot of what I'm going to be telling you and uh, how we synergize hypnotic technique is based on my studies in hermetics. But I will tell you that no system in the body works best on its own. For example, your spine. Anybody here ever go fly fishing? Fly fishing, like, right? Do you know, mathematically, that by itself, the strength of your spine, the, the, the weight of a two pound fish at the end of a fly reel line is enough to crush your vertebrae? Mathematically. Your fascial system has a different level of strength, but that isn't even close to what our spines and our bodies are capable of in synergy. That word is gonna be very, very important, synergy. When we start interacting with the human being, you have to think of the human nervous system as a holographic information processing network. That's, taking, that's transmitting and transducing and processing information on multiple levels simultaneously, but interactively and synergistically. So what do I mean by that? <coughs> when I am <coughs> talking and I'm, I'm doing this process, I'm interacting with her proprioceptive nervous system, her mirror neurons, her audio system, her visual, her external senses, and her internal senses. I'm lighting her brain up like a Christmas tree, okay? The energy field around your body is not just some randomly floating mass of energetic particles and fields in space. It's highly organized and it carries information. That information is imprinted in a code that is interpreted by your nervous system. Get it? Just like the data on an audio cassette. The fact that it's happening in multiple dimensions, not really relevant at this point, except that if we don't activate and work in all of those dimensions, we start to exponentially lose the power of what we're doing. The reason we can get those kind of changes that quick is because we're activating all the levels of the system at the same time. Okay? You can't divorce the languaging from the energetics from the physical body, but there are certain key components that you have to have. Okay, you have to have them physically acting out what they're doing. You have to have them weaving back and forth between external reality and internal reality. You use a different set of brain circuits each time you activate another set of energy, of another pathway in your body, okay? We foment, we create neurological absorption. So there are certain key phrases that you gotta use with this. But I want you to start thinking of your auric field, the energy field around your body, like a virtual reality bubble like you see in Iron Man or Mission Impossible. You know when they're moving things around and opening things up, kind of like your iPhone. You ever notice we tend to make things out of technology that kind of mirror what our nervous system does anyway? So we can learn a lot about how, in the, how structurally our nervous system works by understanding the technology we create. So the first thing I want you guys to do, we're gonna take a bit of a little side, break into the, uh, side road into the world of neuro-linguistic programming. I want you to think of something you, that, a time in your life when you felt absolutely wonderful. Good, now if you can imagine the picture of that experience somewhere in the space around you, reach out and put your hand smack dab in the middle of it. Excellent. Now, take both of your hands. Trace the edges of it. Notice how big that sucker is. That's good. Grab the edges of it. Now, just like you open a window on your iPhone, first of all, notice where in your body those feelings start, and then go. <laughs> notice what happens when you make the feeling bigger, or when you make the, uh, the picture bigger. What happens? Feeling gets bigger, huh? Hmm. Shrink it down to half its size. Huh. What happened? You don't like that shit, huh? No. You have two types of coding systems in your body. Learned and archetypal. In other words, um, an example of that real quick. Archetypal systems. Actually, we'll start with personalized systems or idiosyncratic systems. First thing I want you to do is think of something that happened a year ago. Let's make it something positive just for grins and giggles. Right? Reach out and touch it. Something that happened a year ago. Cool. Think about something that happened yesterday. Reach out and touch it. Notice they're in different locations. Right? Now, here's the weird thing. That's your personal 
timeline. That's how your unconscious mind, your nervous system, codes the experience of time on a personal level. But you have another set of codes. You have an archetypal code as well, one that's pretty much hardwired into everyone in this room. Take an image of something. Well, just we'll stay with the pleasant stuff for now. Take a, reach out and grab that image that you loved so much, the one that made you put that big old smile on your face. Big old smile is a technical term, by the way. Right? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to just take and go, and put it behind you. What the hell just happened? Put it in the, I didn't ask what you did. What the feeling? What happened to the feeling? Did, any, did anybody, did, when you put it behind you, did anybody hear the feeling get stronger? Weirdo? No. <laughs> okay. So, but the vast, but no, it's fine. Um, the vast majority of you, when you put it behind you, this shit went away. That's hardwired into the vast majority of people. Okay. So you have a code that's transmitted genetically. You also have a random set of codes that you learn that just happen to get installed in you at random and by default from the time we're conceived up through the time we depart this plane. Okay? You want huh? us to leave it there or bring it back? Oh, you can bring it back. <laughs> just as an example. Now, here's what we're going to do. Everybody stand up. Put your stuff down. Now, that picture you, that made you feel really good, Grab the edges of it. Now, first thing I want you to know is, is the color in black and white? Or, or, or is, the, is the picture in black and white or in color? Good, is it moving or still? If it's still, make it move. If it's moving, turn up the sound. And then open that picture up nice and wide till it's as big and strong as you could ever want it to be. Excellent, now, as you feel those feelings, notice there's a certain place in your body where that feeling emanates from, where it lives. I want you to point to it, physically point to it. Close your inner eyes, look at that feeling. Notice that there's a color connected to that feeling. You don't have to tell me, but, make, but answer the question in your mind. What's the color, first impression? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to reach in with both of your hands. Grab all of that color, all of that energy. Take it out, hold it in your hands in front of you. Look at it with your inner eyes. The first thing I want you to notice is, did the color change or stay the same? Okay, excellent. Now, as you notice it, that color, I want you, by the way, make sure you get it all. See, some of you had to go back and look, didn't you? See, I told you, there's a reason for everything. Now, as you look at that color, notice it's spinning in a certain direction. Since this is something we want more of, notice the direction is spinning, grab it physically with both of your hands, double the spin, double the amplitude, double it again, double it over and over and over again. Keep doubling it until it takes on a life of its own, until it's impossible for it to go back the way it was. When you know you've got it, and only when you know you've got it, slam it back in. Enjoy the ride. I got a very happy room. Now it's time for the sales pitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. Fast, but it's pretty spunky now, right? First thing we want to talk about is how, is how are these feelings organized? When I had you reach out and touch an experience, you all reached to a different place, and that's okay. That's perfect. But we all did the same thing with it. We made it bigger. When we changed the size and shape of whatever it was, the feelings intensed. Intensified. Now, in NLP, we would call that submodalities, or working in it with your pictures. But we did some. We did one small tweak that's extraordinarily essential to doing energetic hypnosis this way. By the way, you were all in somnambulism when you did that. Okay. What are the characteristics of somnambulism? Level five and six trans phenomena. What is it? Ah, uh, no, no, no. That's not somnambulism. What's the hallmark of somnambulism? Everybody know what a positive hallucination is? It's level five trans phenomena, right? Negative hallucination, level six trans phenomena, right? You went in and out of somnambulism like a rocket. Because you were taking shit, shit being a technical term, <laughs> secret hypnotic influence techniques, you thought. 
<laughs> what did you do? You took a color that didn't exist, arguably. Took it out of you, which means it's not there anymore. It's now here. And you manipulated it like it was real. I see that shit in stage shows all the time. But yet, you, chat, you created a physiological change. Why? Because you created a state of neurological absorption and focus in what you were doing. You lit your brain up like a Christmas tree and gave it specific instructions through an interface that you created energetically. That, inf that information was carried energetically. I taught this as a purely hypnotic technique for many years, and then I realized it's hermetic. There's things going on here on multiple levels. And once I, I made that leap and I really understood it, then change started to become quantum. Okay? So whether you view the, the color that we're playing with as a hypnotic construct or a real legitimate phenomenon, which I do, by the way, um, it works. But what's going on there below the scenes is I'm creating all kinds of connections between my proprioceptive nervous system, my mirror neurons, and yours. When all these people came up, where was I focused? Was I in it with them? Right? How many people here saw me do the demo where I made the, the big guy kneel down against his will? You were there, right? Did you not see the intent? I didn't see that one. Oh. Who else saw it? Right? You guys want to explain what, what, they, what you saw yesterday? Loudly so they can hear you? Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of trance, guys. Basically what I did was I showed a, 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 a physical example of what we're doing on a non-visual level. 